Well, folks, the van has arrived and uh, it's not huge. It is about a meter longer than the van we hired before, but I thought I'd need the extra space. So let's have a look at the van and what I'm going to put into it. Well, it's a Mercedes van, a Sprinter. Oh, I don't think there's, oh, there is a light. Hang on. How do you open this? There we are. Ooh. Okay. Bloody da. Oh, right. Yes, this might look. Oh, shite. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I only said shite. That was quite good. I censored myself. Bloody thing, look. The wind blew it shut. Anyway. I think I'll get loads more than I've put aside, you know. This is, I've, I've, I underestimated the size of the van. Oh, where's all the, why aren't these other lights on? I don't know. Right, hang on. Mark is um, upstairs with the dogs. I didn't want the dogs under my feet when I'm in and out. That's not going to stay open, is it, folks? Oh, yes, it is. Just push it a bit further. Right. Where to begin? Oh God, the vacuums here are only going to take up not even a third. Oh well, let's just get on with it. I'm just going to start putting them in and see what happens. Well, folks, I'm uh, just going to have to move the camera now because it's on top of a Vax Air Silence, a Maytag Wind Tunnel, an Electrolux Dolphin and an Electrolux 2020 Super Boost. Right, now, obviously, I'm going to be sorting those on the van. This is the hot point dishwasher that my mum's getting. I've pack packed it all back up in the original packaging. Um, there's the tumble dryer. That's staying. So, I've got a few more. I've got Hoover the One performer, Hoover Turbo Power 2. Um, oh, that's just the pure power. And that's that goblin upright. There's a Hoover Pure Power as well. I think I'm going to be able to take more than I envisaged. So I'm going to have to try and get some more from the back. I've got stuff in the house as well to take. But, um, yeah. I think I better get this sorted. Well, folks, I seriously underestimated the size of the van. I mean, this is all the vacuums I put aside. I mean, I don't want to overwhelm my mum's house in one go. You know, I was going to put them in, you know, bring, bring them bit by bit after an initial load. But, I mean, there's still, to come in here, there's all my boxed Playmobil, but that's not going to fill it. There's the dishwasher. Oh, but, oh dear, what I think I'll do... I'll get Mister to help me get the dishwasher up there because that'll act as a sort of a a break thing, you know, to keep things from moving. So get the dishwasher out of the way. What's that? Oh, some broken glass there. Yeah, move that. It's a bulb, I think. Um, yeah, I'll move the dishwasher out so I've got some room at the front, and then I'm going to have to try and delve into the back. I've been up to the top there. They're mainly empty boxes up there. Um, but right up the top is some Miele vacuums, but I've decided to keep those here for the time being. But there's some stuff right at the back behind all these, which are mainly empty boxes, so I'll just have to shove those out the way. And look at that. Look at Mr. Dyson looking smug. He's still looking smug. Stop looking smug, Mr. Dyson. Right. I think next job, yes. Let's get this uh, dishwasher lifted onto the van. I've got me old iMac in here. I mean, I just don't want to get rid of it, but I don't know. 
Oh, it's heavy thing. Crikey. Hang on. Whew. Now, all these, well, this is miscellaneous stuff, mainly leaflets, and they're very heavy. They're full of leaflets, a lot of these the catalogues. That, obviously, I'm leaving that here because it's got bags in it. This is some another thing that needs selling that I've had for yonks from my mum's house, old house amplifier, Technics amplifier. There's a Technics tuner, and I don't know what the other thing is. Right, let's start moving some of these boxes to the front so I can see what horrors lay behind all this. Well, I've made a bit of a, a bit of a pathway, but <laughs> oh, look, I've still got that. I can't get rid of it. Oh dear. Now, there's things in here, right? That's just the empty box of the one pet. These are all empty boxes. That that that's got the Shark Sonic Duo in it, but I want I haven't done a demo of it. That's just the empty box. These are all empty boxes. But what's behind all these empty boxes? Oh, gold. But I've seen something that I'm definitely going to take. And it's in that box back there and it says Idol on it. Yes, one of the worst vacuums I've ever tested. The Hoover Idol cylinder is inside that outer box. Oh, heck. Oh my god! Oh. <sighs> do you know what, folks? I've too much work to do to be filming this. I'll come back a bit later when the van's fully loaded. How's that sound? Well, that's the last thing in. A little dashund butter dish. If you want one of these, folks, you can get them from your local Asda or Asda.com. But of course, I am not going to leave that little ceramic butter dish loose in the van. That's going in my rucksack, sack, wrapped in bubble wrap. And uh, that's for my sister-in-law who requested it. Ah! It's a butter dish, should I say? But it's rather a fat dashund. It's a dashund that's been allowed human treats. Well, uh, oh, shut up. We're in the van. Um, I've got the dogs next to me. Mark's just popped out to get some cash. We're not, we haven't been on the road long. But um, yeah, we're on our way. Oh, Molly. I'm here, squashed in the middle next to the gear knob. And the dogs are there. I wanted to sit there, but the dog carrier wouldn't go here without encroaching. So, um, Daisy. Molly Pops. I'm not going to open the zip because they'll pop out. They've never been to Grandma's new house, have you? Haven't been to Granny's new home. Daisy. Oh, I can't see her. Daisy, yeah. Mm. Hello, Molly. So, yeah. I've had a bit of a contretemps with him. Um, what's his face? Him, who's driving. Seemed to think the house would be spotless after I'd emptied all this stuff. I told him it would take weeks to do. Um, I, t I said, I said, don't think after this weekend the house will be spotless because it's a job in hand. Anyway, so I've had my, I've had my piece, I've said my piece rather loudly. And um, yeah, I said things will improve. You'll notice improvements every day. There'll be a little bit less mess here and there. Anyway, right, let's uh, get on the road. I wondered what was taking him so long. He's decided to do some shopping. There he is, look, choosing unhealthy foods. That isn't a real policeman, folks. That's just a sticker to remind people that... Look, there he is. What's he been buying? I think he's got pizza and salad. Oh. You see, what happened, folks, is I told my mum, I, I said not to bother with any... Um, food uh, for today because we might be coming back. There was a chance that we wouldn't get everything in the van, obviously, that I did. Um, and we were possibly going to come back via Ikea and buy some things we, that we needed and then come back, but I don't think we'll be, yeah, stop moving dog, I don't think we'll be mo uh, going 
anyway, I mean, this is taking me longer than I thought to load. And um, so we'll get to my mum's, have a little bit of a coffee and whatever, flapjack, and I'll unload everything. Hopefully Mark will distract my mum so she doesn't see how much there is. And we might be going, all of us going to Ikea tomorrow because my mum needs some furniture for the small bedroom, wardrobe and the like. So it'd be useful if we went in the van and because um, she won't get wardrobe in her panda. No way, Jose. Well, as soon as uh, old face ache arrives, we'll be on our way, folks. folks well it's the next day um didn't sleep all that well because i slept on this single bed um it was very very windy last night so anyway i got the van emptied and um most of the stuff i put in the garage i transferred it initially to the carport that's got a bit of the roof missing that's all being replaced but it was very very windy here last night so I didn't want to leave anything. I did leave a couple of things in the carport towards the end that doesn't have the hole in the roof. So I think they'll be fine. But I moved, managed to move everything. I'll show you shortly. Managed to move everything into the garage. But towards the end, and was getting tired. I just shoved it in. But I've managed to get quite a lot of, a lot of stuff up in the attic space in the garage. And um, yeah, it's all going to be sorted. Today hasn't started out very well. Um, the dogs woke us up very, very early. Plus, I'm half blind because one of my contact lenses in this eye has folded over because I've rubbed my eye, something contact lens, lens users may be aware of. If you rub your eye, your lens can sort of lose its place and fold over. They normally fold. I can't get it out. I'm I was trying to sort of, you know, to get it to appear and to try and redo it. I didn't bring any spares, of course. So I can only see out of one eye, which is uh, not very good. So this is where I slept last night. I had to have Molly with us, with me, 
because she was threatened from the she didn't she doesn't like anything out of the ordinary and it was quite windy and she was getting all hot and panty and anyway so it was quieter in the back so I had to have her she slept on the floor most of the night I think not the most comfortable bed Mark slept in the front bedroom with Daisy nothing much has changed in the house so far um, things are starting to happen an electrician is coming um, next week or uh, this week to look into moving all these silly sockets that are up top there look ridiculous um, and the kit the, the bathroom should all be done sort of before the end of the year it's completely being replaced from the lights the floor and apparently I can't get that blind to open but the bloke said it's illegal to have a bathroom without a frosted window if it's facing you know an area that can be seen so the window has to be replaced with frosted glass as well um, so that law will be happening so nothing dif different there nothing different in here either still no blind or curtain up at this window it's uh, oh that's been moved I wonder what my mum's done with that there was another chair is it in here Ooh, wonder if she's got rid of it. Oh, no, it's in here. Oh, that's, that's a good place for it. There's more room in here, so she's put that chair in here. Seems to going to be a nice day today. Well, it's better than yesterday. It was a bit dull. My mum's bought that. I don't like it, but anyway, it's blue. I would have gone for a green one myself. Uh, a bird feeder. Um... So nothing really, just things to be put away. My mum's got somebody to replace all this and put sliding doors on, get rid of all that horrible mess. And I think the same person is replacing all this banister here. And um, obviously putting one in down the bottom. I haven't been in here actually since... Uh, this carpet looks fantastic compared, I couldn't record it, there was some reason why I couldn't record it, but this was very satisfying to shampoo this carpet. Uh, there's a half there, they were going to put some sort of fireplace in here, but my mum doesn't need it. So that'll have to come off that, obviously it's going to be recarpeted. My mum wants this redecorated um, before Christmas, so she wanted, she'll, and she wants new sofas and everything, so... She doesn't, we don't sit in here much. Well, don't really like to at the moment. There's no curtains. Oh, we've had a right to do and a hoo-ha. I just had to pull the mealer out and there's nothing wrong with the mealer. But I needed to check the, the cold water pipe connection because I bought the dishwasher. Bought the dishwasher. Oh, this is right. My mum's got this new table. She had that delivered for in here. It's a nice... Um, Nice table for six folk. Right, so here's the dishwasher. You might have seen in a review I did. So this is for my mum and it's going here. Nothing straightforward, is it? Because the so-and-so has put a non... Um, I don't know, what's the word? Well, it's not the right connector. Now, we were, we, my brother didn't know. And I, I, I said, well, he seems to think, oh, they must have changed the pipes. But this is a standard fill hose. They haven't changed this in years. Anyway, that is the, the elbow end. That's what goes into the bottom of the dishwasher. And this end is supposed to screw onto here. Well, it's far too big. Anyway, a lot of uffing and narring and whatever, looking on the internet, trying to find some sort of adapter. I don't think I can. I don't know what it is. Anyway, this has come away from the wall. I just pulled it off, look. This moves. So I've got full access to this pipe. We've got a pipe cutter, I think. If not, uh, we can buy one cheap enough. So basically, I'm just gonna have to cut that off when we find out how to turn the water off and replace it with a standard washing machine or dishwasher um, connector. It has a, a red or a blue little lever so you can isolate it. This has a little screw thread to isolate it, but it's the wrong fitting. So I'm gonna get compression fitting. So in theory, 
once I've taken that off, cleaned up the um, the thing with some wire wool, I should be able to screw in another, the correct fitting. And then my mum will have a dishwasher working. So that was a faff, but nothing, nothing much different. I mean, she managed to sort of, well, there's all these hoovers <laughs> here. These are ones that I'm going to put in the loft today. Just a few. I'm not putting loads up there because I need to board it up. Oh, and this is look what my mum's got. I did tell her to get it, to be honest. The same one I've bought. They've gone back up. <clears throat> They're over £400 now at Argos, which is ridiculous. Oh, it's water. Water everywhere. Anyway, she's got that. She's hang Oops, she's hankering for a cross. Where's all that water come from? I must have dribbled it out of the dishwasher. She, um, she's hankering for a cross wave now, but she's got a vax floor mate in the garage. I said, well, I'll get that out first and see how that goes. Because um, the cross wave, although it's good, it's still expensive. It's 250 pound. It doesn't seem to ever get reduced. She's managed to work out the cooker. For any of you wondering, this is a dual fuel. So it's a gas hob, but it's electric ovens. We couldn't get it to work the first few days, but it was something to do with the clock. The clock wasn't set properly, so I don't know. Anyway, it works now, and she's really pleased with it, um, having fan ovens. But apparently a lot of her bakeware, her baking trays, didn't fit in. So she's had to give them away and get smaller ones. A bit silly. Uh, oh, my brother got her that. Well, I think she paid for it. Just a slightly bigger television for here, this little area. The dogs have their own little nook there, which they love. That, um, my mum's got loads of wood for that. The chimney for that's being swept this week. It was advised to sweep the chimney um, before she uses it again. But it's not a lot different. Shall we, uh, let's have a look in the garage. They've gone out with the dogs. That's why I've got a bit of peace. Well, this is the carport that was full of my stuff. The van's still outside, but it em it's empty. This is where the hole is. This is all being replaced, the roof, very, sh very soon. Um, the only thing I left out was these three boxes, but they're fine. It's dry, it's all dry. All we're saying, it's just obviously where it's, it hasn't rained yesterday, it was very um, windy, but it didn't rain. Now, in here, yes, it does look a bit of a mess, but because as I said, towards the end, I was getting a bit tired, um, so I just dumped it in here, because it was, as I said, it was very, very windy. And I thought I had visions of the roof coming off of the um, carport. In here though, I mean, it got surprisingly warm and I think it was just from the lights. This is very well insulated. This is as, as, as well built as a house, you know, it's a double walled garage. I'm quite happy to leave stuff in here. Anyway, in the top part of the attic, I, I put Playmobil right up. There is some vacuums up there as well. And those boxes, they're, they're um, two, four, six, eight, they're another 10 deep. I already had some in the corner there. They're okay to be left for now. I've shoved a couple of vacuums. I tried to get uh, an upright vacuum on there, but it was just a little bit too short. But I've got some that might fit up there. And some other vacuums I've just shoved there for now. My bike is coming back with us, because the bike I use at home is it was really cheap disposable type bike. It's lasted a couple of years, but I'm taking that back with me. Um, this is my mum's new dryer. I mean, I said to get a, she didn't want to spend a load of money. I'll be doing a review of this when it's all tidy. Um, but I'm not, I'm not impressed with it. Um, it's a Beko, because I was quite pleased with the Beko one I had. Um, yeah, I did the review. We, we paid for that ourselves. It's a sensor dryer, but it all feels very, very cheap and plasticky compared to the one I had. This bit, especially, 
feels like you could easily snap that. And if I could show you inside, we nearly had to get this. This is a Vax floor mate, not floor mate, oasis of my mum's that uh, we nearly had to get out. Hang on. Ooh. She's bought that, that um, lawn mower. It's only cheap, 40 odd quid one for that bit of lawn she's got. It's got a, it's got a light. Oh, it's a different drum. So, oh, pardon me. So I can't open the thingy at the moment. But this all seems very cheap. You know, the, the cabinet itself feels, feels solid, but it's just the door and the drawer for the condenser for the water. It just feels a bit, hmm. But, you know, it's a sensor dryer. I don't know how... Uh, Noisy it is. Ooh, quite noisy. That is noisy compared to the AEG one I've got. But anyway, oh, she's got one of those. I recommended, oh, she's got a longer one than I have. I've got one of these. I think they're quite good. One of these hoses that fits into a little, that's a 30 meter one. I think mine's a 15. But I've used mine and it's pretty good. The way it just fits into a small you know, a little container like that. Uh, right, so I'm going to get those telescopic ladders later today. Well, very shortly after I've spoken to you and use them to go up in the loft. I might just put that on the end of this video because I need to go in the loft um, to put some vacuums up there, but more importantly, to do some measuring up before I order the flooring I need. Mm -hmm. 